everyone, it's me again, Sandy, your Canva Certified Creative, and we're back for another Canva tutorial. And this time, I'm going to walk you through how you can create grids, a mock-up grid to help you showcase your social media graphic design created in Canva or any design that you've created in Canva that you wanted to showcase on your portfolio, on your Instagram, or on your website. All right, so let's get this started. So now I'm on Canva and I've put all of my designs that I wanted to put in a Mac up on a single Canva document. So I have nine designs here that I wanted to create as a mock up. So I'm going to download this as a PNG file. All right. So once that's downloaded, all you have to do is just go ahead and open a new Canva document and upload all the PNG files that you've um, up, uh, downloaded. So I have all of the nine designs here and upload it here onto your Canva. Once everything is uploaded, start putting in, putting them into your document. So I'm going to use all of them and I'm just clicking on all of them to make sure that they are all in the same size and then select all and then make it smaller so you can adjust them. I'm going to start with this. Okay. And then tidy up to make sure that they are um, aligned. And then I'm going to do the same here. Probably I'll make it. So the reason I'm doing this is so that I have, I'll have like a guide. And then I'll start putting in everything. See, that'll be um, a lot easier. So they're all aligned because when they go to tidy up, it's already grayed out. It means to say that it's properly aligned. Okay, everything's good. So now I have like a tile of nine graphics here. So I'm now going to position it properly and adjust it. Okay, so I probably wanted it to look like this. Okay, so we have now like a tile, but how do you um, add another touch to make it, you know, like a realistic? So what I'm going to do is I'll add a shadow to each of the image. So I'll choose drop shadow and do the same thing on the others. All right, there you have it. Then you can also change the background color of your mock-up. So this time it's white, so I'm gonna put in probably, put it in a gray, put it into gray or put it into something like this or anything from my brand color. There you go. And then once I'm done, I'm just going to download this as a PNG file as well. All right, I hope you find this video helpful. Let me know if you have other questions. Thanks again for tuning in. Please don't forget to hit like and subscribe. Bye for now.